Hello, Solo Travelers, and welcome to another episode right here on your channel, The Solo Traveler. Happy New Year to each and every one of you. Happy 2023. Wishing you all the health, wealth, all the love in the world. Thank you for your continuous support, for watching, your comments, questions, and subscribing, and everything else in between. Thank you, all of you. Well, I was recently in Dominican Republic for New Year's Eve. I was in Santo Domingo specifically. While I was there, I stayed at the Sheraton Santo Domingo. I stayed there for three nights uh, during New Year's weekend. And I thought that that was uh, enough time for me to draw my conclusion about the hotel and provide uh, an in-depth uh, review for all of you. To make sure I cover everything, uh, I got my notes here on my screen. Um, you know, with everything I'm going to talk about, it uh, may be a long video for you, but I need to cover everything uh, that I experienced at the Sheraton. All right, so uh, to begin, the Sheraton Santo Domingo is located about 30 to 40 minutes west, uh, and that's uh, that's depending on traffic. So it's uh, about 30 to 40 minutes west from Las Americas International, and it sits on the Malecón, which is basically right across the street from the ocean. So uh, most views, whether you're in the pool and your room, most views are, are going to be uh, nice and involve the ocean. So that's a good thing. As soon as I landed uh, in Santo Domingo, I took an Uber, which cost me about 20, uh, 22 US dollars. Uh, that's far less than the official airport taxis, but more on that later. If you want the specific address, it's 365 George Washington Avenue, but no worries because pretty much all taxis and Uber drivers, they know where this hotel is located. All you have to do when you get there is say the Sheraton and they'll take you. It's, it's, it's the only one in Santo Domingo, uh, by the way. I do have to warn you to begin that if you prefer a hotel within walking distance from malls, uh, attractions, uh, the colonial zones, then this hotel might not be for you. There are only a handful of restaurants within walking distance, but only restaurants, okay? Um, so for other points of interest, attractions, then uh, from, from the hotel, if you want to see other you know, attractions and uh, everything else that Santo Domingo has to offer, you have to use, uh, uh, you have to get an Uber or a taxi unless you have a rental car or any other transportation alternative. Speaking of uh, transportation options, I made a video on all transportation alternatives or options in Dominican Republic and another video on, uh, on how to use uh, Uber in Dominican Republic. I left the links for these two videos in the description below. If by any chance you have a rental car, uh, one of the first things you should know is that the hotel provides free parking and it has plenty of spaces of parking spaces. Uh, the lot is located uh, behind the hotel and there is a 24 seven security. So free parking is a big plus. I didn't use it because I didn't have a rental car, but I was pleased with with you know with a parking lot since the lot was uh, it was well maintained, clean, and lit at night. So let's go to uh, let's talk about the cost uh, the cost of this uh, hotel for for you know for the nights that I was there. Uh, like I said, I was there for New Year's Eve. I booked a room, uh, had a king size bed. I paid about 110 US dollars per night with breakfast included, which which is not bad considering it was for New Year's and you know it was supposedly high season over there. Uh, however, 
I, I recommend that you check uh, about your dates because we all know that rates can change from one day to the next. You can use the hotel's website or any other third party apps uh, or websites or, 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 web, or other websites for, for the rates. For your info, I provided the hotel's link, the, uh, the, the web address, uh, the link in the description below. Let's talk about checking in. Um, first, uh, going into the hotel, my first impression was uh, how nice the lobby is. Uh, it is really, really nice. It's, it's clean and I felt like I just wanted to be there. Checking in was pretty typical. Uh, so that was not an issue. It was all standard proce procedure. I did have to wait about 15 minutes to check in due to the amount of people before me, but the hotel doesn't have control of that. And plus it was New Year's Eve. Uh, it was New Year's Eve weekend, so I was expecting a lot of traffic there anyways. I had to sign my life away, provide a credit card, like it's typically uh, done. And so I was given my key and uh, my room key and Wi-Fi uh, wi credentials and up I went. As I got into the elevator, do keep in mind that you'll have to use your room key to, to gain access to your floor, um, which nowadays is, is pretty standard, uh, you know, for security reasons. When I got to my floor, the hallway you know, was nice and clean, smelled good. Uh, and into my room, I went. Speaking of room, uh, let's talk about it now that, uh, you know, that, that, that I mentioned room. I was pleased as soon as I walked in, very spacious. Housekeep, housekeeping did an excellent job. When I walked in, it was uh, it was just a little, you know, somewhat cold, but I adjusted the temperature, uh, you know, to the way I liked it. You have your TV with plenty of channels, uh, an accent chair in the corner, a working station or desk, which uh, which is it was a pretty good sized desk, if you ask me. Plenty of electrical plugs for your devices. Um, the closet. The closet had uh, plenty of space. It had a, an ironing board with an iron, of course. And uh, trust me, that, that comes in handy, by the way. In the closet, there was also a, a safe, which I recommend you use. Plenty of hangers, uh, a couple of laundry bags for laundry service if you need it. The bathroom, bathroom was a bit small, but acceptable for one or two people. It had you know, plenty of towels, uh, soap, body wash, shampoo for those of you who need it. Uh, <laughs> and in the room, uh, they they provide they provided three uh, uh, they provide a complimentary water, three bottles, and that's about the only thing that's complimentary because uh, this fridge right here. It was packed with, uh, it was full of, uh, you know, plenty of liquor, candy bars, uh, beer, you know, and it's, it's tempting, but not complimentary. So keep that in mind. And of course, uh, uh, you know, there was also the phone, uh, which, you know, that, that, that leads me to believe that uh, I think local call, local calls are free. Uh, but I am not 100% sure. I didn't use the phone, but in the pamphlet, I believe that's what that's what I read, that local calls were free of charge. Now, let's talk about my favorite thing uh, about the room. And it was, without a doubt, the bed and pillows. Very, very, very comfortable. I slept like a bear in hibernation. There were also uh, there were also some of those uh, th th these pillows. They were probably the most comfortable uh, pillows I've I, I've ever slept on uh, while staying uh, at a hotel. 
Uh, so that was that was oh, it, it was they, they were really really comfortable. The bed it was it was just excellent. It was excellent for me. What else? Uh, the view, the view, um, you know, the view I had from my room. It was nothing to die for, but I've had better. But I am not going to complain about it. So that was uh, no biggie. Um, I, it didn't have a balcony, but you're able to open the windows if, if you. You know, if you want fresh air, just don't forget to close them because the mosquitoes will pay you a visit if you don't close uh, the windows. So um, after you admire the room, you know, you unpack and get comfortable. What's the first thing you do? You use the Wi-Fi and I'll get straight to the point here. The Wi-Fi was the best I've ever used at any hotel. And believe me, when I say this, the hotel, now I'm not getting paid. This is not, no, the Sheraton, they're not paying, it's not paying me for this, okay? They're not giving me anything. But the Wi-Fi was surprisingly fast um, and, and, and very good. It was always, it never went down, never slow, uh, slowed down for any reason. Uh, so it was fast, and the best thing was, is that you can connect as many devices as you have, and and once you're logged in, it works in the entire hotel, the same network. Uh, you can go to the pool, you can go to the gym, everywhere. It works the same network. And uh, the reason I I brought I brought this up is because a lot of hotels have a Wi-Fi just for your room. Then another one for the lobby and another one for the pool. And uh, I was even downloading videos and, and the speed was decent. Everything about it is just amazing. Hands down, I'm telling you, the best Wi-Fi I've ever used in a hotel. Let's talk about uh, customer service. Everyone I interacted with was just amazing. Everyone was professional. Uh, they had a good attitude and, uh, you know, they were ready to help with anything. Every time, um, every time I, 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 I ran into a housekeeping personnel, they ask, you know, if I needed anything, if I needed my room to be clean every single time. Any other question I have for any of the staff, um, they all knew what to do or, or, you know, had a solution or had the information. And it's like they know their hotel like the back of their hands. Uh, so I was very pleased with a customer service, even from, you know, from getting there, uh, unloading my luggage, checking in. Everyone was so welcoming. Um, even at the restaurant, they were very attentive and, and wanted to take care of me. So th that was good. Speaking of restaurant, let's talk about it and let's talk about the food. Uh, the restaurant I want to talk about uh, first is, is the one behind the lobby's bar. It's for dinner and, you know, it, it is a quite, uh, you know, it's quite pricey, but the service and food were pretty good. I had I had dinner there just the, the first night and, and, and that's it. The other restaurant, the main one, is called Casabe, and it's the one I had uh, breakfast at every day. The hours are uh, breakfast 6 a.m. to 10, uh, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Um, now for lunch and dinner, I didn't have lunch or dinner there, but I have breakfast there every day. I stay there. Um, before before I forget, with 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 breakfast in mind, I suggest when you book your room, you include the breakfast package. Um, the the breakfast it's a buffet style. It's a buffet style breakfast. They uh, you know they mainly serve Dominican uh, Dominican breakfast, which is you know, mashed plantains. Mangu, and then they also have American breakfast, which is you know pancakes, omelets. Uh, they have fresh uh, juice, coffee, some items a la carte, and a continental breakfast as well. Be warned that, and this is one of the cons, but it's, it's no big deal. But the the breakfast menu doesn't change at all, so. 
after about a week, uh, if you're staying that long, you'll get bored with the same breakfast, although it's pretty good. And, and I was pleased with it. Uh, you know, and again, I only have breakfast there, so I don't I don't know how the, the lunch and dinner. Uh, I don't know how the food is or what they serve, but, you know, I, I didn't because I didn't have any. As an alternative, they also have a restaurant by the pool, although I did not dine there. I was I was in Santo Domingo, a city with hundreds of restaurants. I was not going to confine myself to, to one restaurant, okay? There's just too many great restaurants out there, so I had to try them all. If I, <laughs> Not all of them, but you, you get my point. Um, with that being said, uh, there are... Uh, there are many other restaurants nearby. You can walk to, to some of them. So I suggest you check them out. For your info, you should also inquire about the Sheraton Club Lounge. Uh, it's a restaurant. Um, ask about it at the desk because I did not go there. Uh, the Club Lounge is, uh, you know, again, a, a restaurant is on the 10th floor. Again, I did not go um, okay, let's talk about some facilities. Let's start with the bar in the lobby. Excellent service. Excellent service and, and drinks. It was comfortable. I had a couple of drinks there the first night uh, I was there. Everyone, again, friendly and, and chill. Plus, the drinks were amazing. Um, if you don't prefer, uh, if you don't prefer that one, they have another bar by the pool as well. In the lobby, you'll also find a business center with plenty of working space for you know if you have your own laptop and, and to work comfortably as well. They have desktops uh, as well. I am just not sure if there's an additional charge to use them for, for the desktop. And, and for the printer, so check with them, please. That's it for the lobby. For for those of you who don't want to, you know, venture far, the the, the hotel has some shops as well. Um, they have a rental car center, so you know, if you have a last minute plans that that, that you need a car, they have a, a rental car there. Beauty parlor. Uh, as well and a clothing store there's also a casino next door so good luck let's talk about the fitness center the fitness center from outside it looks small if you stand outside the door it's like it looks tiny but it's pretty spacious and it was not crowded at all uh, at least you know during the times uh, that i went it was very very clean it has uh, machines for all types of workouts. Uh, the attendant there was she was pretty cool and friendly. So uh, hook her up if you you know if you go and, and give her a nice tip. Okay. What I really loved about this place, besides how clean it was, was the steam room and the sauna. Yes, that was I was I was speechless, but it was much much needed the fitness center is open 24 hours finally uh let's talk about the pool area because who doesn't love the pool area right um i liked that there were plenty of beach chairs uh plenty of space and even beds which uh you have to book in advance by the way just the beds the area is, uh, you know, is well kept. Uh, the staff, again, was very attentive. Plenty of towels available. And as I already mentioned uh, previously, there's a bar and a restaurant. The pool hours are Monday through Sunday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, all right. So that'll be it from my general review uh, of this hotel. But I, I, I have no complaints. Um, it's, it's, I, I highly recommend this hotel. And uh, just before I let you all go, I got some final tips. Okay. Um, tip number one, don't bother 
don't uh, when you land there don't bother with airport taxis they will charge you double of what an uber uh, what an uber will cost okay I was I was getting charged uh, 40 US dollars by the airport taxis to get to the Sheraton while uber uh, cost me about 22 US dollars if you can tip number two if you can when you book get the the package with the breakfast included um, trust me you, you don't want to wake up and have to go uh, you know somewhere else to get a cup of coffee tip number three reconsider having uh, dinner at their restaurant because uh, their prices are, are pretty high okay um, the service is good good food but you know, I leave that up to you. Final tip, try to book at least a month in advance if you can. Although uh, I, I have to say that I did not have any problems booking for New Year's Eve. And I booked the entire trip a week before I, I arrived. Okay. Um, all right. That, that'll be it. If you have uh, any questions, any comments, please use the comments section below. Other than that, thank you all very much uh, for your support, for watching, and all the love. And as always, safe travels, my friends.